All right, what's up, Tino? We're back in Mom's basement. Um, here we go with Tuesday, September 27th board briefing. We have the workout wind tunnel warm up. Uh, Chris Henshaw warm up is going to be coming first, and then we got some skipping to do. So 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest, one movement. Bring your skipping rope with you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Chris Henshaw is an endurance specialist who coaches a lot of the CrossFit athletes. Someone like Mike, uh, Matt Frazier, uh, and the list goes on and on. He's been doing it for years and years. So he's got this certain warm up that we're going to do tomorrow. It's pretty fun. All right, uh, specific warm up: rowing, four different sets. And we're going to be with a teammate, okay? Just like in the workout, this is a team work or a partner workout. So we're going to be doing a little work on the rower, a little bit of rest. Other person going to be doing work, and then we just switch around for four sets. The workout wind tunnel, RX, 30 minute MRAP. So we're going long today, okay? With a partner, max distance um, on the rower, and we're switching as needed, okay? Uh, level one is 20 minutes on the rower with a partner, switching as needed. A couple things we wanna think about here, big picture items, right? Depending on your capacity on a rower, we wanna be rowing where we can hold intensity um, for a certain amount of time. So something like a, a 250 row, that's pretty often to be, often to be switching, but if, you, if the intensity is fairly high, um, you could probably get away with it. I would be something more along the lines, thinking around 500, but it's totally up to you guys. I'm just giving you some suggestions here. So, um, sorry, a, a 500 meter row for you, if we can hold certain paces, right? So we want to be somewhere around um, two minutes to two thirty minutes or two two minutes and thirty seconds at average five hundred meter pace. We don't want to be over two thirty. That's getting a little bit slow and long in the tooth there. Um, if you want to go faster than a two minute pace, by all means, hop on it and go. Okay. So this is a. Uh, a fairly long workout, it's 30 minutes back and forth, you gotta think, um, if you're running a two minute pace, 500, you're every two minutes you're on the rower, okay? So there's gonna be a lot of chopping and or a lot of switching and transitions. There's a lot of money to be made or in meters with quick transitions. Communicate with your partner. Get off one side, partner gets on the same way. We're not bumping into each other. Foot straps are important, let's not, um, if you're looking to go and get a lot of meters here, we shouldn't be adjusting this, the foot placement things uh, often. As a matter of fact, we shouldn't be uh, adjusting those at all. You should come to a happy medium. So uh, if a person has a huge foot, next person has a small foot, make it somewhere in the middle so you're not adjusting all the time, right? Quick transitions in and out, quick pulls on the puller to get it started. Um, and Posture is going to play a big one in this, right? The, the team or the person who can hold really good posture during these rows is going to be less fatigued than a person who has, has a really rounded back when they're reaching for the catch position and all that. So good posture, quick transitions, keep the intensity where you can keep it for all the meters that you're rowing, whether it be 250, 350, 400, 500, 600. Um, make sure that you can hold that intensity not only for that row, but most of the time of your workout. So a good thing is to do your first row, don't come out too hot, set a pace. Okay, I'm gonna go at a, two, a 205 pace. Boom, as the workout gets going, okay, I feel pretty good, I'm gonna drop this down to like a, a 203 pace, right? Stuff like that. We don't wanna go the other way though. Um, so don't come out too hot on this row, or on, the, on the workout, it's a long one. Let's have some fun with it uh, and get after it guys, enjoy.